I am back today with another makeup tutorial. I'm actually getting ready to go out with a couple of girlfriends. I've seen some things on like Instagram, the internet, that I've been wanting to try. Oh, I don't even have it. So one thing that I saw on Instagram that I really wanted to try was a more natural contour look that involves like contouring first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this light contour stick. I've honestly been avoiding contouring. We're gonna experiment. We're gonna go like right. For me, I have a round face, so I kind of want to offset this part a little bit. Nose. Let's try it with a foundation brush today. I love this brush, but just it's so noisy. I'm gonna try and like pat it and keep that shape. And then use bigger motions to blend it. This one I'm going to pat upward and kind of push it into the cheekbone so it stays kind of lifted. Same thing, bring this up and then see if I can spread it into the hairline. I kind of like that. Alright, let's see how it works with concealer. Here I am going for the high points of my face. Turn that up. I'm getting these like smile lines like, right above this contour too. I am liking the shape of this so far. If I didn't need more coverage, I might leave it like this. But today I do want more coverage, so I'm taking like a medium coverage foundation and I'm trying some of these like light application tips a lot. Finger paint this a little bit. I'm gonna go in second layer just to see if there's any kind of like spot covers here on a clean finger. I actually like this. It looks a lot more, I think, natural than when I do the contour afterward. Just loose powder, eyebrows here. No, more so like pressing the powder in. I'm feeling kind of lazy today. Keep it a light hand. I mean, the 90s brows were like skinny. And I'm going to brush it in the same direction that the hairs are growing. So we've got a nice defined brown brow. Since I'm going with the 90s look, I think it's just going to be all about matte eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this kind of neutral browns palette and then these two colors. Those are like the reddish browns and that's kind of what I'm in the mood for. So I'm on this big flat brush and I'm doing that in the outer crease. So I'm going to define first. Same way we did with our face. Take any leftover product, put it underneath. I go a little more. I want to move this kind of higher in the middle. Not like in the crease, but right above the crease there. And then the more, one of these more neutral colors at the top. So I'm going to go in that one. Just put it right here. Oh, that is light. Okay. This be a little bit cut crease kind of thing. And then finally that white on the inner corners here. It's like um, if you're doing like Halloween do your makeup, you use the same colors. And there. Okay, so it's all placed. Now I'm just going to blend it with a clean fluffy brush. This will end up being a bit of a monochrome look, I think, but it takes three or four colors sometimes to make that happen. I do want to go in and give it like a smudgy liner kind of thing, so I'm taking a liner brush and this darkest brown. I'm just going to pack it in on that outside first. Go for a little bit of a rounder eye, because why not? I'm going to bring it out not to cat eye it, but to make it look like we're extending the lash line just a tad. It's a super subtle, but I think when we do mascara, it's going to look a little nicer. 90s blush. This has been one trend that I've been, you know, really not sure how I feel about it on my face, but we're going all out. So I'm taking this nice matte... Uh, nude sticks. It's like a, this might even be their bronzer to actually do some on the under eye here. My finger is. It is January when I'm filming this, so we're just faking a little bit of 
sun, I guess. Let's squint my eyes and get this like all the way up to my under eye on the inside instead of doing my circles. Nice. I'm gonna go in with a little highlight as well. Love this like MAC one. It's these bronzy kind of golden brown highlights, which I think is perfect for like a 90s brown look with the lightest one, which is here, that on the tip of my nose. I was shocked to find out this was a powder highlight. So I had looked up, I forgot who was wearing it, and I looked it up, and it just looked so like, I don't know, moist. <laughs> Next, I'm moving on to lips. It's one of my favorite lip combos. It's mostly drugstore. This is the Maybelline lip liner, and it's in the color Totally Toffee. It's a little dark for me, but I think that's perfect for 90s. I want to start in the middle, and I'm not going to overline the top on this one, and just start like a little ombre there. And then 90s, I don't know why I feel like drugstore lipsticks were the thing, maybe because I was like, not old enough to afford anything nicer. This is Revlon's uh, lipstick in mink. And I mean, that's almost a perfect match, but it's enough to give it like a slight ombre. All right, and there's that kind of like toffee brown. I could totally leave this here, but I don't love a full matte look, to be honest. So I am going in with the Fenty gloss bomb. I'm just right in the middle. And you know, we could do mascara. We'll think about it. I kind of like this here. So this is the final look. It's a nice nostalgic look. Super quick to put together. I feel like the contour definitely makes a difference, but by doing it first, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a ton of products. So the internet definitely was a homie on that one. If you have any questions, requests, that's pretty much it. I gotta go finish getting dressed. And thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.